Hello, my name is Mark Klok, football player in Indonesia at PSM Makassar. I started my career when I was five years old. I was playing at a club in Holland, amateur club. And basically my biggest influence all over my career has been my father, because he supported me and uh, encouraged me to play football since a young age. I loved the game. My first words as a kid uh, was ball, actually. So I started playing young at five years old. And from that moment, the only dream I had was to become a professional football player. Why PSM? I was playing in Scotland uh, one and a half, hour, two years ago, and I got a phone call from an agent who said that there was an offer from a club in Indonesia. At that time I was still young, 24 years old, and I thought by myself, is it the right moment to move abroad, move Europe, move, my, move away from my family and everything across to the other side of the world? And after a deep conversation with my family, my girlfriend and my friends, I decided to just take the step to move across to the other side of the world and started a new career from zero and build a name and build a career here and, 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 and achieve something at the other side of the world. So PSM at that moment was the, was the one who was offering me a deal and the coach was Dutch. Uh, I spoke with him and Actually, he convinced me to, to make this step as well, as he wanted to help me achieving my dream. So that's why I chose PSM Makassar. Actually, every game now is like a final, and every game we have played until now uh, was hard, was, was intense, and the season is taking so long time already. Uh, and you feel the, the season is coming to an end. We have five games left, and and the only thing I want to achieve, I think we want to achieve, the city want to achieve, the fans, the players, the, the coaches, everybody want to become champion. It's been so long ago that PSM Makassar has become champion. And in my body, in my, in, my, in my veins, in my heart, everything tells me that I need and want to become a champion. So for me, that's the only goal I have now. And I do everything, I live for everything to become a champion this year because that's something I, I must do in my life and in my career. And I think this is the right moment. Last year we were very close, very, very close. And it hurt it when we didn't become a champion. So I think this is the right moment to make things good and, and, and yeah, and just fulfill our dreams, I will say. And just every game right now is so intense and there is so much tension and so, so much nerves before a game or after a game that you start looking at the table and you start looking to other teams, you start looking at your own team, you speak with each other and you say, listen guys, today is the day, we have to do it. And that's, that's not even one game, that's now the five upcoming games. It's up to us. It's not up to other teams in the league like Persija or Bandung. We only have to look at ourselves and that makes it so interesting and so much so much fun as well because as a football player you live for the highest possible things you can achieve and right now the highest possible thing to achieve is to become champion so I wish nothing else than that everybody in my team and uh, in the coaching staff and in the fans can come behind each other and give give our maximum to to achieve this so I will say let's do it I think the atmosphere is, is something unique. I, I have never experienced something like this in Europe. I've been to many games, I've been to many stadiums, I've been to many countries, and I've never seen so fanatic supporters uh, all over the world uh, in my experiences before I came here. And you see it on everything. I mean, I'm walking on the street and people chasing me to make pictures. I mean, that, that, those kind of things never happened to me in Europe. And, uh, people say Europe is, is the league and Europe is, is, is the platform every player wants to play in. Of course, when you play in a team like Chelsea or Barcelona, Arsenal, I mean the big teams in Europe, Barcelona, Real, then, then you have a great life and then you are famous. But here in Indonesia, even you play in a small team, I mean players are still famous. And, and that is because people love the game and people love the player and they adore you. 
and they keep supporting you and that's something so nice to experience and something so nice to see because every game is full of people, full of, of fans who are living for the game and even on a Monday afternoon, I mean, I think people have to work but I don't think they work, they just want to see the game and those kind of things will not happen in Europe and that makes the Indonesian league so different than, than other places. What do I want to achieve in Indonesia? First of all, I told you I want to become a champion in this, in this country. Uh, we are so close now and that, that's my first aim, my first target and I feel in everything inside me that, that this is the time I, uh, it will happen. If I look to the bigger picture, I want to become an Indonesian citizen, stay here for a long time because I love this country, I love the people, I love the atmosphere here. If this happened, of course, to be a national team player will be a big dream for me to represent this country uh, football wise. Uh, I mean in every aspect it will be a big honor for me if I can achieve that and in my mind and in my, in, and in my picture I already achieved it and I already achieved to become champion because I mean if I don't believe in something myself and don't believe in something that I can achieve, it will never happen. So that's why I always believe in things, what I want to achieve. And that's why things will achieve in the end. And uh, for now, I want to become champion, want to become a citizen in Indonesia. I want to become a national team player. And after those things, I will plan further ahead. But until now, that's, that's my main target. Yeah, and for all of you who are watching, I mean, You've been so great and you've been so loyal and so supportive to, to me and to the team. And I hope we can continue like that the next five games. Don't drop, don't, don't be negative, don't let anything influence each other and just be positive. Let's fight for our goal, let's fight for our mission. And we don't stop until we're there. And when we're there, let's celebrate all of us together. Thank you. Thank you.